Hi everybody. Um, having been born and bred in Dublin all my life, obviously, it's um, something people come to this community from America, all over the world, and they're quite fascinated to hear about a Jewish community in Dublin. And I have just one little story you might like to hear. During the early 50s, uh, growing up here, we were quite a vibrant Jewish community. And on a Sunday morning, my father would bring me to Clumbrasso Street, the Jewish area in Dublin, which at that time I didn't know was known as Little Jerusalem. There were seven butcher shops, there were kosher delicatessens, and most of the community were in and out of each one. When we visited the butcher shops, each butcher would say, Give the kinder a piece of verst. So I had a piece of verst in this one, mit garlic, mit out garlic. And that was my outing on a Sunday morning. Today it saddens me because we have no butcher shops anymore, kosher butcher shops in Dublin. We've no kosher shops. We had a supermarket up to, until recently and they've stopped doing kosher food now. So most of the kosher food here is being imported from Antwerp and Amsterdam which is a great shame, but our community here are working on it. When I would go home or taken home on the Sunday morning, the first thing my sister and I would hear from my mother was, Kinderlach, sit down, sit down, have some lunch. And I would say, I can't sit down, I'm not hungry. What do you mean, she said, you're not hungry. And I would say, we had lunch. What did you have? Piece of wurst. That's not lunch. But I'd go to another story where I'd say, but we went to the other butcher shops. No, that wasn't lunch. But we couldn't eat anything. Another thing about growing up in Dublin was there were small, small shtetl shows. Two main orthodox shows. I didn't know anything about the progressive show at that time, which was started here in Dublin in 1946. So we're about, talking about the mid-50s. All I can say is I have many, many happy memories of a thriving community. I was so involved with the B'nai B'rith here in Dublin. I ended up as president of B'nai B'rith. But unfortunately, there's no B'nai B'rith here in Dublin anymore. But hopefully, with the influx of many new immigrants coming in, Israelis, South Africans also, we've had a number of South Africans here. In fact, the chief rabbi, Fry Mervis, of the... Uh, United Kingdom and Kingdom and the Commonwealth uh, was from South, South Africa and he was chief rabbi here in Ireland. Good friend, knew him very well. But all I can say is, you know, life goes on and we make the most of it and we have to be positive. And hopefully one day there will be a thriving Jewish community here again in Dublin. So all I can say is happy Arab St. Patrick's Day and Shabbat Shalom for this coming Shabbat. Thank you.